seen this documentary. <sighs> we wait for this but to it's, come. it's supposed to come September 29th, and it's called um, Invisible Beauty. I wish you had the, the what you call it. You what said you, you saw a, um, this thing. It's a trailer. Oh, you on the same page as mine? Uh, oh, yeah, you are. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. go ahead and. Oh, well, let me see what it is. So it is. Um, you saw the other one with this other the model. other model. What's yes. her name? Danielle Luna. Luna, and then this one is another model, um, Bethane Hardison. Her son is Kadeem Hardison. Kadeem Hardison. It was on um, di- Different World. Different World. And um, Dwayne uh, Wayne and the Dracula, Blackula. With he the, sure was. Name? It was a sidekick, right? Right. Losing all his fingers. And she, stuff. these are models that were back in the early nineteen sixties and seventies mm-hmm. or whatever, yeah. and they were discriminated against. Mm-hmm. So they kind of paved the way for people like Beverly Johnson mm-hmm. and them. Mm-hmm. But nobody women. talks about them. Women of color. So now all of these um, documentaries are coming out mm-hmm. about their lives. Mm-hmm. And it's good because nobody knows about them. Yeah, so yeah. this one is at the was at the Sundance Film Festival. Mm-hmm. Got high ratings. It's supposed to come out September 29th. I want to see hers, definitely. But go you ahead. You saw play. the other one now. Go ahead. Okay. Do that thing and make it big. I always know, because I've lived life long enough, you can change things. You might need to be your foot against the pedal, but you can change things. I remember one editor from Glamour said to me, Beth Ann, do you really think you can make a difference? And I just start laughing. I've done it before. Over the years, our next guest has been a model, an agent, and an activist, and now she's leading the fight to bring diversity to the runway. Everyone's talking about diversity and inclusion right now. That directly stems from the work that Beth Ann did. She laid the foundation. She's been the godmother of fashion. The images that we see, whether it's in a magazine or a movie, really influence how we see ourselves and also how others see us. And whether people know or not, she has changed the way beauty is defined. Without her existing, then the opportunities wouldn't exist for me to, to do what I love. I mean, it's as simple as that. Much of what's happened in the past 20 years would probably be another 25 years in coming without her. She is, to me, black history. And I tell people, once you meet this person, it's going to change your life, whether you like it or not. All right, so that's coming September 29th. Mm -hmm. What I like about this is that now all of these black women are finally able to... um, be shown for who they are. Mm-hmm. And, the and it took how many years for us to start seeing this? Mm-hmm. Stuff the like this. struggle that they went through even then. Because we, back to the com- the comment about having to deal with racism yep. and our color, our complexion, our women of color not being accepted. They weren't able to be on magazines. Not on the magazines. front cover at all. Right. The one thing I do like about um, this model versus um, the Daniela Luna, mm-hmm. the a lot of she got a lot of slack, Daniela uh, Luna, because mm-hmm. she moved to another country. What was the name of her thing of her documentary? Do you remember? Um, her name. So Don Daniela Luna. Don Danielle Luna. Hers is on um, Netflix, Netflix. Mm-hmm. and then this one I I don't I think believe it's coming to Netflix. I'm mm-hmm. not sure, but it's called Invisible Beauty. I like her story because she stayed here. Because she's an activist. Yeah. A lot of people shun Danielle Luna uh-huh. because she was a it's almost like she was ashamed yeah. of being black. Oh. So she's not gonna be a spokesperson for black women. Okay. It just happened for her okay. and the black models saw her and went, Yes. Okay. But she wasn't vocal. Oh. She didn't get out there like this lady did. Yeah, did she open the doors for a lot of these people? That's why you heard them. Yes, a lot of people couldn't even be in fashion if it wasn't for people like her. Right. 
So that's a good one to watch. Yeah. I wanted to bring that to everybody's okay. attention. All right. All right. So I always try to do something funny. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, and this is uh, Desi 4018. Oh, you make it bigger. If I can.